being an engineer, to me, it means being a problem solver. It means that we think about what tools we have at hand and how we can use those tools to address really important problems in the world. I've always felt that engineering, it's, it's, it's actually a real privilege um, because you're able to take a huge amount of knowledge that we learn from scientists and uh, we use that knowledge to try and develop new ways of thinking about things and solving uh, really uh, difficult challenges that we face in our world. When I got into my junior year of high school, I had for the first time a chemistry lab in which we were able to do real experiments. And uh, I got really excited about being able to make something new by combining two different things together. So, you know, you can combine two molecules together, two liquids and create color or light or heat. That was really exciting for me. And I spent a lot of time in chemistry lab and my teacher who happened to be a woman, uh, science teacher, my first time being taught by a woman in science, she told me that I should think about chemical engineering. I asked her what that was, and that was my first introduction to the field. After that, I decided I would go ahead and look into it. It sounded exciting and interesting. And uh, I decided to make that my major when I joined MIT. I am a chemical engineer and I actually work on a number of different kinds of materials. Most of them are polymeric materials or long chain molecules. And I actually design those molecules so that they can package drugs and other kinds of therapeutics and deliver them to specific parts of the body. So my lab has been really focused on how we can deliver cancer drugs directly to tumors in the body but we've also been looking at how we can use materials to generate bone, especially to regenerate bone in regions where there may have been um, a, uh, a surgery. As a woman, I have a different perspective on the different kinds of health problems that might be really important to address. So in cancer, I've had a really strong interest in looking at ovarian cancer, which impacts women uh, significantly. It's a, it's a cancer that hasn't been resolved. Uh, in, in fact, we haven't seen improvement over the past few decades, and it impacts Black women particularly. I also think that my experience as a parent, uh, my experience uh, as uh, just a person in the world has taught me to be extremely flexible about my thinking. And that's really helped me because I can actually look at a problem many different ways. And I found that that's allowed me to innovate much more effectively. I think that when we have experiences that challenge us, uh, we begin to think more deeply about the different kinds of ways in which we can solve those problems. And I think that's happened for me throughout my life.